Hi and welcome back. Today we're filming on the road in beautiful Warsaw, Poland. I'm Dr. DCC and as a doctor I run a hospital and that hospital uh, needs specialists and today we're visiting Christoph Zitar. Hello. And he would be Dr. Technics. He specializes in the AR1 mechanism that you can find in RSDC8 mechanisms, the Victor uh, mechanisms and today he will be showing you how he actually restores these mechanisms to bring them back to life. The AR1 mechanism is the most advanced used in all DCC players, but also the most complicated because in our opinion it was not built to last. Common issues are leaking capacitors and worn belts and pinch rollers, but the biggest issue is the soft plastic tooth wheel used on the motor that was common in the 90s to try and soften the noise from this mechanism. It will simply not last and break. Either the head placement or failing electronics often cause the thin film head to completely die or lose even multiple tracks. In this video, we will show you the complete restoration, including replacement of the thin film head. This mechanism can be easily removed from any unit. After removing the door, two flat cables and four screws, it will simply slide out. We will start with the removal of the read-write print that holds the capacitors that could potentially be leaking. In many of our previous videos, we have shown you that all SMD capacitors on the read-write board need replacing. You will need to replace all 10 with the same size SMD version, since regular through-hole capacitors will not fit. We will remove the motor to prepare it for a new tooth wheel.
Cleaning and checking all the various detection switches is important, now the mechanism is apart. The new tooth wheel is made from metal. The distance from the top of the axle to the new metal tooth wheel is 4.5 mm. A drop of bearing oil will ensure smooth operation. Teflon grease is added to the new tooth wheel. The top tape detection switches often cause problems as dust is not their friend. To clean them we first remove the covers to gain access to the copper pads. Mirror lighting. A new belt is being put into its temporarily position before we can start putting the mechanism back together. Thank you. 
Finally, the belt is being placed onto the pulley. To remove the defective thin film head, we first have to remove the pinch roller arms. They are held down with the clip. The thin film head is held down with only two screws. We have to remove it from its chassis. Thank you. 
The donor for the thin film head can be any first generation deck. In this case we use a DCC 900. Finally, we have to adjust settings to make sure the new hat works with the existing electronics. Each thin film hat is unique and has a number with milliamps written on its cable that was done at the production plant back in the 90s. We have new pinch rollers in stock. This Technics 909 is ready for a new life. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.